एक्स्ट्रा टाइम when bowling to virat kohli what was there in your mind what was going through in your mind when you bowled to players like kohli and pandya yeah 100% um obviously a lot lot happier with how i bowled tonight uh, compared to that first game um like you said i was obviously a bit disappointed the ball came out a little bit short which um is not the way i like to bowl so tonight i just tried to really spin up the back of the ball and, and get some nice uh, shape and turn and um that seemed to work a lot better um uh, for me and and obviously it worked quite well to to virat um it was um yeah just trying to weigh up obviously they had that short boundary to his leg side so i was really just trying to defend that that short side and um luckily i was able able to do that so um yeah hey mitch the um the required run rate obviously was getting pretty big for them there in the in the last few overs but was there a bit of a sense of unease until um virat went Yeah definitely um T20 cricket anything can happen um it's it's yeah it's not over till the fat lady sings so um yeah it was definitely um yeah some some nervous times there but look at the same time back the guys that were there doing the job for us um AJ bowled beautifully and and Sab um, was able to get the job done at the end there so and and Sam's has obviously bowled a, a fantastic over to get um Hardik out at the at the end there so um credit has to really go to those guys for bowling the tough overs and um while while we were a little bit nervous out in the field that we might have had a replay of game 2 it was um definitely had full confidence in those guys to get the job done and um yeah really glad that that they could do that and I uh, appreciate this is a world away from test cricket but do you draw confidence from how quickly you were able to adapt you know getting the call to rush to canberra and, and quickly being able to you know hit the sort of form you had uh, had tonight Yeah definitely look up overs out in the middle um red ball white ball doesn't doesn't really matter for me I I think um like yeah overs out in the middle uh, always help and um at the moment uh the ball's coming out quite nicely um by that first game as I said but um yeah I I I just think the experience of being out um running out in this jersey in the international st- on the international stage was um it's done my bowling the world a good and my confidence is um obviously I'm um, going to benefit from that just being around the squad and around the guys and getting out there and and basically just showing myself that that um I I can do it at this level so um yeah that that was really pleasing. Hey Mitch, um similar to sort of what Rob was saying about the confidence getting to bowl to these incredible Indian batsmen even though it's in the white ball format does that give you confidence in terms of if you have to bowl to them again in the red ball format later on this summer? Oh yeah, look I think so. Uh, I I Uh, obviously two very different games but um yeah look I, I as i said before i, I think um overs out in the middle um against the quality opposition um no matter what color the ball um it's always nice to um to obviously get some results and get get some wickets um it's really good for the confidence and um yeah hopefully um if given an opportunity later on um in the summer um that that's something that I can draw from but um yeah obviously two completely different games so um I dare say plans will definitely change from um tonight's game compared to um uh, at a test in a test match so um and obviously the opportunity's got to be there as well so um we'll just have to wait and see Have you had any chance to chat to JL yet about what your next week is going to be whether you'll be staying for the Aussie game in Sydney or heading down Adelaide? Yeah, look, I think um plan obviously uh coming up is the pink ball uh Aussie A game uh, back here at the SCG, so um I can't wait to to get out there and play that one. Um haven't played a pink game uh pink ball game in a long time, so um it'll be nice to get that back in the hand and then um from there fly fly down to to Adelaide to join up with with the rest of the test squad. So I'm really excited for the, for the upcoming week. Um yeah, it's been obviously a great week just past for me, but um yeah, it's, it's still plenty of cricket to come and um yeah, can't wait. Yeah, Mitch just following on from that, mate. Do you see that as a a big opportunity for you on Friday um to a game at the SCG? Yeah, 100%. Um any time you run out on that field is um yeah, it's a great opportunity. Um obviously the uh the game just passed there were some really nice performances there from the guys and um yeah they'll obviously be looking to um lead on from that and keep keep that sort of going and um obviously um uh, getting an opportunity to run out with those guys i'm hoping that i can obviously um uh, play a role and um hopefully take some wickets out on the scg it's um it's obviously a lovely place to play and 
um, every time I play here, I enjoy it. So um, yeah, can't wait. Yeah, Mitchell, I just want to know your equation with Adam Zampa. He's also a leg spinner. You're also a leg spinner. What do you learn from Adam Zampa, and how did you describe his your relationship with him? You both are leg spinners. Yeah, Zams has been um, excellent um, since I've come into the to the T Twenty squad. Um, he's um, obviously a very experienced bowler now um, in white ball cricket. Um, played close to hundred games for Australia now, so in in both um, one day in T Twenty um, formats. So he, being able to draw from a guy that's been out there and done it, um, and particularly over the last couple of years, has done it so well. It was um, it was great to have him. Um, here as a bit of a, a, a mentor, especially having a guy like him out on the field, helping um, with setting fields and things like that was was really handy for me. And he was he was really quick to offer up his advice when I flew into the squad. So um, yeah, can't can't speak highly enough of of Zamps's help um, that he gave me throughout the the past three games. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.